Brides beware, some spent thousands on a wedding videographer and never received the video of the big day. Tonight, they are sharing their stories with us. And CBS 46's Melissa Stern goes looking for that photographer to try to get their money back. When I caught up with Chris Jones, he had just finished a Sunday service at Edge Church, where he works as a worship leader. I appreciated his willingness to give me his side of the story. But in the weeks since, our conversations have taken a turn, and he's even gone so far as to attempt to threaten me to not tell this story. All this over a handful of wedding videos he has yet to produce. Well, here's some of the two of us. It's been nearly a year and a half since Carrie and Karen Sellers tied the knot. We're middle-aged. It's taken us a long time to get to this point. And that, that wedding, I planned it for two years. It means a lot to it her. It really, really <laughs> means a lot to me. They hired Chris Jones through his business, White Anchor Films, for their September 2018 wedding. They paid him $2,500 for an edited video, an Instagram teaser, drone footage, and two videographers to capture the day. So what did you get that you paid for? Nothing. Nothing. The contract gave Jones six months to deliver, but does state no liability for delays as long as there's communication. There's no, been no communication. They're not alone. <laughs> Daniel and Bree Smith say they're still waiting too. When his six months were up, we still hadn't had the contract, hadn't heard from him. He wouldn't answer my calls, my texts. And when he did, it was just like excuses after excuses. Well, I can give it to you now. Jones blamed the delay on personal issues and says he's been in contact with everyone. Well, if you can't deliver the pictures and videos, are you going to give them their money back? Absolutely. I'm not a bad guy. In the weeks since I spoke with Jones, he has sent me threatening text messages and even threatened to ruin my life if I reported this story. Here's a text message he manipulated to make it seem like I asked him for money in exchange for not running the story. On the left is a thread from Jones's manipulated conversation. On the right, you can see the real conversation pulled from my station issued phone by a forensic technician. I'm paying the price for, you know, my decisions and my actions. Jones' actions towards me. I don't want to be the guy that, that takes away somebody's wedding videos. And his clients like Carrie and Karen. We paid you money. Don't offer much hope. Just give it to me. That they'll ever get. And I will leave you alone. Video of their special day. We cannot go back and fix it. And we can't do that it's day over again. We can go back and redo. At least one couple has taken Jones to court, but others tell me it was too costly for them. Other clients told me they only received raw footage he shot at their weddings, costing them even more money to hire someone else to put it together. Jones says he is no longer working as a photographer and continues to work at the Edge Church. The pastor there tells me Jones has been directed to correct any issues from his past. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.